Hello, it's Rob here from Woodward Games. How is everyone? It's another exciting episode of Blackout Rugby Manager. I had to think there for a moment. I got it on my screen, got it everywhere, but you know, uh, it's, was it Sunday morning here? That's probably why I'm like a little bit lost. <laughs> okay, so I double check that you can hear me and everything like that. Yep, good, sweet. So how's everyone been? Um, yes, it's. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, not different. Yeah, so it's the same same crap as always. <laughs> um, uh, what I thought I'd do is I'd do I'd change the schedule a little, because normally I do it on like in the evenings here in New Zealand, and it's usually like the mornings in, in Europe and and all of the people that that watch us in Africa and Asia, <laughs> in Europe. Yeah, they're the only ones that pretty much play rugby. So I thought, okay, I'll try it in the morning. I thought nine o'clock in the morning. Ah, that's going to be easy on a Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, should still be easy. But then I was like, oh, God, this morning, I'm like, you don't know how I rushed to get everything ready this morning. <laughs> oh, God. So let's let's see. Just so I can make it easy. It's like the evening for everyone there in Europe. And eh, none of the Kiwis would be awake now. So I can, or with the Aussies, I can talk shit about Aussies. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't have them trolling me <laughs> on screen. I'll get them in the comments, though. <clears throat> yeah, and, oh, God, I rushed to get coffee and everything like that. So, anyway, um, hello, Lothrop. So good to see you, mate. Oh, look at that. I've got to show you this. these cool things we've got here. Hello. Yes, I can throw your comments up on the screen now. It's probably something new since the last time you dropped by. Honestly, it is so good to see you here in back in Blackout Rugby again. I know you had a bit of a pause for a number of months. Uh, I was at the same stage too about, um, uh, when was it? I think it was at the end of last year, beginning of this year. It's like, yeah, I was just wasn't getting into it because there's nothing new really happening in Blackout Rugby. And then they started doing the union challenges again. And like, oh, because we completed everything in our in the union, in the, the unicorn hookers <laughs> uh union. And it's just like you just come in, log in, do the training. There, there's no real motivation. And then the union got their challenges back. It's like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And it just gets more interesting. And then when it was launched, also got people coming back. It's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm quite enjoying blackout rugby again. So so it's almost bedtime here. Oh, God, I got to bed so late last night. Because we had the, right now, there is the Women's Rugby World Cup happening here in New Zealand. And yesterday was the first, um, the first day of the, of, of the World Cup. Oh, so good. And, and what, what they do is they have three games happening on the same day at the same stadium. For example, there was a, a game between England and Fiji. Whoa. I, I, did, I didn't actually see that one, but I just saw the result. Spoiler alert, put it on mute if you don't want to know the results. <laughs> you should do know, should know them by now. Um, it was like 80-something, 80 84, 12, 14, God knows. But it was like a like 14 tries it was like whoa huge wipeout and against fiji and i thought the fijian women would, would were going to do so much better because normally in the sevens rugby they do they're like really dominant so i was like oh i thought they would have done better but they got wiped out by england so it wasn't they've, they've got a name i think like the england roses or something like the english roses or something i, can't, I don't know what their nickname is and then last night uh, my wife and i we watched the uh, the match between, what do you call it, uh, between New Zealand and Australia. Oh, that was so good. It was, ah, oh, that was good because I, I love watching the women's rugby, like the the the, the Black Ferns are called, and they're called the All Blacks are called the Black Ferns, uh, especially the seven-a-side rugby. Oh, so good. But just like the 15-a-side rugby, you don't get to see very much. And the game last night against Australia, which is our eternal rival. It's our, uh, and, and everyone thought, you know, New Zealand should win this without a problem. And then Australia was so good at the beginning, like the first 30 minutes. 
and they get a try. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, and then another try, and then and then they were winning 17 nil, 17 zero, and it was like, oh my god, this is what's happening here, and because New Zealand did not have the ball at all, just at all, just Australia dominated. And then New Zealand slowly came back and there's like 17, I don't know, 15 or 14. It was like, we're still losing at half time. I was like, eh, but it was only like two, two point difference or something like that, maybe. Or no, three points, you know. But then in the second half, ah, oh, the girls came back or the ladies came back and it was just such a good, they're just awesome. It's just so cool watching them play. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, getting back onto the topic of uh, what we're doing. Ah, blackout rugby. Oh, it's real rugby anyway. <laughs> um, I have a level 40. Oh, no, for, level 40. <laughs> Isn't that a band? Oh, that's UB40, sorry. Level 40. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. Is the Women's Rugby World Cup broadcast on New Zealand team? Sounds like a good game to watch if someone puts it on YouTube. Yeah. Well, um, it's normally the, the rugby here in New Zealand is by Sky Sport. And, and we have access to Sky Sport here. Um, but now it's for spark which is like a telephone company they got the rights to it or something like that and you have to have their sport application god knows what and that's really sucky because i'm like oh, i can't be bothered paying for that or anything it's like oh but at the same time it is the right women's rugby world cup i was like oh i wanted to go to a stadium because it was here in auckland but it was sold out they said it was sold out stadium it's like the biggest like event of women, any woman's event, they got so many people in a stadium. I don't know how many thousand, like 60, 80,000, I don't know, here in New Zealand at least. And and they said it was sold out. It was like advertised, sold out. And they also advertised, there's like the, the famous singer, Rita Ora. She's, she's a popular singer now. I don't know many of her songs, honestly. Sorry. Sorry to all of your Rita Ora fans out there. Yeah, just don't know. Uh, pretty much most of the stadium are like, who's this? <laughs> I come to watch rugby. And all of the, the Rita Ora fans, they're like, oh, there's like a, there's a rugby, there's some rugby games happening before a concert. <laughs> they're like, yeah, no, nah, they come for the rugby, sorry. Um, but anyway, I, and the reason she's there, I think one of the reasons she's there, because she's um, um, Taika Waititi's um, wife now. They got married. T Taika Waititi, if you don't know, is like a famous um a kiwi producer i love his work he's he's so funny such a funny guy he did like the the last couple of thor movies you know the marvel thor movies uh i like the first one better than the second one just just letting you know and um yes yeah, so, and he also did jojo rabbit and he's got boy got so many other films he's really good i love his i love his sense of humor and he's Oh, if you just look him up, like interviews with him and some other, he's just such a funny person. He's so naturally funny. It's like one of the people I'd like to interview would be Taika Waititi. So call, you know, you know, just, just let me know. It's just like, oh, he's so cool. Anyway, his wife was there because they got married recently. Oh, oh, this is the Hollywood gossip. For, this isn't blackout rugby. This is Hollywood gossip. <laughs> Woodward gossip, not Woodward games, Woodward gossip. <laughs> um and yeah so <clears throat> so she was supposed to perform and it was advertised everywhere and the thing is spark sport they didn't have the they they paid for her to i don't know if they paid the rugby world cup paid for her but they didn't have the rights to broadcast her live concert so everyone was like if they got this the special paid for the special package to watch her perform and they didn't it was like sorry <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah. Anyway, so it is also on New Ze the New Zealand rugby matches are on TV three. So we could that's the only reason I could watch it. Of course, it's like with a one hour um um difference, like they do it like a delay, they do it one hour later. So what I did when the 
the game was on, no social media, no nothing. I was like, no, put the phone away, put the computer away, and we had a barbecue. <laughs> barbecue, red wine, oh, oh this is, it was good. They kept us busy. And then when the game came on, we didn't know the results, anything. So I was like watching it live, though, yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> and oh, so good. But when the, I think of the semifinals and the finals, they will be live on TV, on TV3. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it would be so brilliant if someone had put it on YouTube. Um, maybe someone put it on YouTube or on Twitch. But the problem is, if you put it on there, you get this, the commute, the strikes and your copyright things. And I'm like, yeah, just, you yeah, have, to, have to avoid those things. Especially since, I mean, this challenge's got, this this channel's got millions of viewers. So, you know, I just don't want to, to, to disrupt the, <laughs> the flow. Good on you for sticking with the game. For me, it became too much of a slog and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Yeah, it was really strange. There's like a number of months ago, it was like a bit of a slog. It was like a bit of, a bit monotonous. It was, it was a bit, it was a bit like that. But I, I did stick with the game, and I remember, I think I, I got rid of, like, my teams and everything like that, except for Woodward Games and Woodward Saints. I was like, yeah, just, I think the thing is, when it, when it was on the cell phone, if it hadn't been, like, the app or hadn't been on the cell phone, like, we're in the beta, you know, we're in the beta, or whatever, it's alpha, or God knows what it is, before the pre-launch, before the launch, um, and it was like, the... I would just jump on when I had free time, like, oh, I'm waiting in line at the supermarket or somewhere. I'm waiting for someone in the cars. Like, okay, I'll get it out and do it then. So, the, like, I would still log in every day just to collect some of the things, but I wasn't paying too much attention to it. And, yeah, I, I, I understand, Slothrop, how it was. It was very, like, yeah, a bit monotonous, but, like, yeah. But now that you've got the, the union rep matches, I think, the, like, the union rep matches coming, that is going to to add some excitement to the to the game in general. I mean, I've been enjoying the union more also because there was a time, like, it was very quiet. I think everyone was very quiet because, like, yeah, just logging in and doing the things and logging out. And I think also... I, I think it was because I wasn't streaming. Oh. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, no, I'm not interested in blackout rugby anymore. Rob's not doing blackout rugby. So, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to play anymore. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, I think like, maybe it might be like one person that stopped. <laughs> and that was me. <laughs> yeah, so you agree the uni rep that? Oh, it sounds so good. It's like... They, they, they mentioned it at the end of last season, and I thought, oh, it's going to be the season. I was hoping it would be the season, but I think, I don't know how many, uh, we'll go halfway through the season. So I think it's going to be probably beginning of next season. I thought it was going to be this season, but but anyway, maybe it's just a season to get ready and everything like that. But it does sound promising. It sounds like a lot of fun because you've got like leagues. You can also have different teams and you can put different players in and you can vote. So I think it's going to be quite, uh, I think it's going to be quite exciting. It's going to be a bit, it's going to be interesting also because um, like when I, I, I've got no problem sharing my tactics at all. You can see it on my screen and everything like that often. Uh, but I think it's going to be interesting because we'll be sharing different tactics. And I think a lot of the managers are going to, to learn from other managers. Like, oh, that's, an, that's a good idea. Because we'll be discussing this in the, in the chat and everything like that. And I think that's going to be a great thing. It's like, you could be talking more about tactics and, hey, that it could actually work. I didn't know. I didn't think of that. Maybe I could try that too. So certain unions and members of unions, they're going to be stronger maybe or better or learn from each other more, especially with more experienced teams. And I think that's going to be a great thing. But I think the best thing, the best thing is being able to, to, to wind up other union members. Like, if, I mean, Onion is sort of, I don't know if Onion still exists. Let's go see if Onion still exists or something like that. I guess we're in the join. If we go here, uh, I don't know. Does Onion still, because 
I actually you may have noticed. Oops, I'm me and yeah, I can spell. I've got my keyboard behind my microphone. Um, I think there it is. Onion. And we go search for it. It still exists. Ah, yes, uh, you haven't got so many. I think it's I oh, know it's still available. Ah, rum shackles. <laughs> now playing rugby. I saw your name pop up there. <laughs> when I saw that the other day, it was like, was well, like a couple of weeks ago. I was like, oh, yes. Slots Rob's he's playing again. I was like, oh, I hope he I hope he says hello. <laughs> I hope he comes. That's why I said that's why I sent you the message. Um yes, yeah, so onion. How many what clubs are in here? You got Hayden, Hayden, you got the Jack, a sheep and a cow. I want sheep and a cow in our union. Come on. And then I don't think this is the active year. They haven't been active since July. And oh, a day ago. So, oh, the Trogla Bogman's still there, Martin. Maybe one of his a dev or something like that. Yeah, it must be. But anyway, there's that. And that was the reason we had, like, was it uh, Unicorn Hookers with Onion Peelers? The weirdest name ever. I, I removed it with Onion Peelers just because uh, we had a chat about changing the name of the union about two, three months ago. I can't remember. Like, maybe to attract new, like, we might need to attract more members, but we didn't change the name and people kept joining anyway so it's quite cool like every now and then of course we get rid of the inactive um yeah we get rid of the inactive members for like because i think a lot of like level one players or two players they join and then they they stop the game after like two or three days and they're in an active for six weeks so after six weeks or whatever at the first day of the season or second day of the season we go through and active yeah, okay you just kick them out because it's just they're not helping i mean they sometimes help with the league um, what do you call them? The league. What do you call those bloody things? Challenges. Um, but if there's no league challenges, like, yeah, because they're like a low level and they can usually do all right. But other than that, now you're inactive. You don't say if you say something in the chat. Perfect. But if you don't, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So Onion is just not a competitive union anymore. What competitive? Let's go check out some of the see what competitive unions there are. I'm just so looking forward to this when when this comes up. I think uh, let's go up to level 19 maybe or 18. Let's go uh, around here. Let's go check them out. So these, oh, okay, let's go up to 19 then. There we go. These are the most active um, teams in 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 black oh, not teams unions and blackout rugby i think we have one of the strongest i think we have one of the strongest teams because if you go to the ladder we've usually got the top some of the top places um so here you got all of our members i mean you got of course this this dude here oh god this no he's not he's useless this guy this rob dude he's useless but I mean, it's good if I actually got the the Viper and um, San Fernando um, Vipers in. That's quite that's cool. You got Phil. Look at this. You got Darren um, Darren Belmont. You got Hedegul. You got Steve from Flying Ko Koalas. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I started laughing with the name. I just remember our chat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and you got um, Psych. You got East Van. You got, so we've got some good teams. I got oh, we got um, Desiderius. Um, but we've got some good ones coming through. De Juan de Segovia, um, Iowerth. But we've got some other teams here, like in the 20s too. Like Big Shadow's starting to do well. He's also been active, and that's really good. Like stayed in the union. He's been growing, being started like level 7 or 8, and he's now up to level 20, 21. So it's like, yes, these are the type of people we like. So I think we can get sort of – We've got a, quite a good team in here, some teams. Uh, and our closest competition is the one that Phil has. <laughs> Phil and Romsa in our union. They're also in the bewilderment one. <laughs> so I was like, anyway, it's like our teams are like, yeah. But unfortunately, you got there's only got their two teams in there. You've got Lynx and the Kilted Kiwis. You've got a lot of lower level teams at the moment. It's, Oh, we got Fox Warriors there. Okay, that's all right. Uh, we've got Jeremy, but he doesn't uh, pay much attention to his team and everything like that. So, yeah. So that's so that one. But I think 
was it the barbarians is like probably like one of the more serious competitors maybe they got the 50 club members you got la this is the one that could um make it more interesting for us yes yeah, so definitely yeah as so onion isn't very competitive uh anymore so this is the one like you got lamington lions they're good you got roms roms is everywhere man he's in he's in the three top unions there <laughs> oh god um chunk's not active anymore he hasn't been active since 25th of august and he he was inactive for longer than that i think you get like a notification you get a notification if like oh you're you're inactive for eight weeks or something like that so i think he came in on august like oh yeah yeah and then went back out again so his team's just totally not active unfortunately chunks of, was a very good manager and like coming against scotland remember he was in our in our youth league that we created like god two years ago now he was in that so but unfortunately he's not active anymore but this is gonna i think our competition is gonna be the barbarians you got like all of these level 30 teams um i don't like hefsami nelly ah oh, I've, I've never talked to nelly hello nelly say hello to me sometime in in somewhere anyway <laughs> um but yeah you got lots of these level 30 teams but they're the ones that you can often beat like or yeah or oh, oceans 15 they're quite good too they're like ones you don't often like they usually are top like near the top 10 15 20 of the ladder so still beautiful for for my team you got lexi's undertakers but i don't know how active some of these are really dad of the pub this is a great name i love this name what's your username i'm dad at the pub so i wonder if he really does with uh, hurunui i really wonder if he does play this at the pub or he started at the pub or something like that i'd love to know his story uh wessex um uh, was it the wyverns and everything and bombers it's a good one mighty o's that's another that's a good one and pumpkinators so you've got lots of good level 30 teams here um yeah so this is going to be our main competition but i think we can actually pull it off because there's like about how many level 30 teams but how many of those teams have good players so if we you know go check out some of these players here we should do a whole whole live stream about checking out the other unions and things like that but you check out some of these players and they're only like level 50s 60s 60s so he's a level 30 team but not really uh, i don't know whether it's any of these players are really worth it um yeah so yeah one second go collect some of these things so if we go back to the unions, go join. So I think that's our main competition. So they, they do have a lot of level 30 teams, but they're not really teams that have like dedicated to the game and like, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see, see how that works. And maybe the next one, Pirates, who's in that one? Buccaneers, yeah, Buccaneers is quite good. Got a Targo, which is also good, but then just everyone else is low level, so it's like, mm, like with just two teams, I don't know whether they'll be able to do it. Uh, Pirates, Italy, yeah, you didn't have many teams before. Familiar, oh, you got La La Banda Bonnet, that's a good one. Cyber Team, Flamenio, but then you just got they don't have many players, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, France, you only got two players, so in level 30. <laughs> and his other team <laughs> um yes yeah, so and the club that's a that's a uh what do you call it this is a <laughs> this is a thing must be a dev team or something like that they just experiment with them look at that coca-cola fanta sprite coke vanilla mountain dew coke zero <laughs> this is sponsored by <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> so we do have one of the top uh unions with the players in there i think barbarians and bewilderment they could be the things so you're thinking yeah so how dare they having cake and eating it i know i know i remember chunk yes i still like the idea of holy communion with only new teams what is kind of disappointed was how long it took takes for the option to do an in-union competition 
That is so true. That is so true. It's like I love the Holy Scrum Union, and it had a lot of potential to be like our other union. I brought my my baby team, the the Saints. I brought that back into. I brought that back into into what is it? The Woodward Hook. Uh, the, the what do you call it? The Unicorn Woodward Hookers. <laughs> oh, it's the morning here. Come on, with the Unicorn Hookers. <gasps> Something is coming, and you're going to be so proud of the unicorn hookers and the unicorn name. I've got something. I, I was recording something yesterday. I'm not going to say anything else. I, I recorded something yesterday for the channel, and you'll be like, what? What? And yes, that's all I'm going to say. Ah, <gasps> oh, yes. And everyone's going to want to join the unicorn hookers. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. But there's no space, so whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I remember Chunk, I know, and, and it was great because that union was also, it grew with um, the Unicorn Hookers and the Scrum Union. If we go back to Scrum Union, uh, it's actually still there. I think it's like, yeah, it's pretty much inactive now. Scrum Union. Uh Um, let's go go scrum. Let's go see what comes up. Uh, search. No, no results. I had to drop it back a bit. Let's go scrum. Uh huh. Or maybe it just disappeared. Oh God, I can't even remember how scrum scrum union is it with one? No. Oh God, a scrum and coke. Oh, that was my old team. If I search for that, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that was my old. Yeah. Anyway, no, I can't find Scrum Union. Anyway, Scrum. Let's do it. Let's do the whole thing. No, it doesn't appear anymore. So maybe it's just totally inactive. Because when I saw it, there were like two teams and one was inactive. And the other one was also like inactive. So maybe they just got eliminated or something like that. So it doesn't appear anymore. But that was actually a brilliant idea. And I think that is one of the frustrating things. It was disappointing how long it took uh, the option to do the in-union competitions because with that, that would have been brilliant. That would have been brilliant just having our internal competitions and everything like that. They still haven't got it ready, unfortunately. I think the first stage is doing the unions, the, the competition between unions, which is going to be exciting. And then I think the next stage, they're going to do the one where you're Ah, holy, that's the one. Yeah, if I search for holy, where is it? There it is. I thought it would have appeared if I had to put the other one. Okay. So who's in here still? You got John's, like John's um not he's he's inactive. 20th of July. Yeah. And so how long does that take? Was it July, August, September, October? I don't know how long it takes before you get ah, this club has been archived and cannot be visited okay so he's already been archived and the other one is was with is also chunk so that was chunk's other one so yeah it was a bit frustrating how long it took to do the competition everything like that but i know um they've been doing a lot more they've been getting a lot more uh, developers and things and they're really pushing it because they got a lot of shit loads of investment at the beginning of the year or sometime and yeah we had lizzie he's one of the she's one of the devs there she actually streams on twitch too um and she i was doing live streaming of the rugby well i wasn't showing it on screen i was just like talking about it i thought oh, i'm gonna watch the game and and i did it on youtube and she joined she knows so much about rugby i'm like whoa she i mean everyone knows more about rugby than me <laughs> but she was just awesome and yeah she dropped by too and she's actually one of the devs and and she mentioned, I was chatting to her a few days ago, and she's actually been hired by them. Oh, yes. She's like, she was an intern, but now she's hired. It's like, sweet. That's so good. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Scrum Union was a, it was a great idea, and it did take. Yes, so it says, I hope all of those low-level teams and then them unions are sticking with it and working their way up. 
I think there's a lot of low level teams that like just join, they try it and then they disappear because they don't have the patience. They don't have the, like we've seen it with our union. We've had people that to like just come and they go. It's like about, what was it, a week or so ago, like I got rid of like four or five of them. And at the beginning of each season, you get rid of four or five people because they're inactive. Because if we go to the competitions, go to the ladder. Ah, oh, good. I'm still there. Okay. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to do one of my challenges. <laughs> Have I been challenged uh, recently? Ooh, I bet. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, so if we go down to, I'm just going to send this challenge while I'm waiting. Uh, youth team. And let's go expensive. Because it's just going to get rid of. Uh, expensive test. I'm going to do it with my other team just while I'm here. Uh, where's my other one? This this is a bit of, I'm having a bit of a problem with Woodward Saints because I'm number 17 and I don't get many challenges now. It's like, damn. And I, I'm putting, I put my youth team in and it's like, oh, I'm try, I've got to change my, my tactic. Uh, scrum up. That'll do. That's a terrible, I just kicked the ball up in the air the whole time. <laughs> it's a great way to try not to win, but sometimes it happens. Anyway, I just get rid of that. So as you're saying, yeah, all of those low-level teams in those unions, it'd be good if they stuck around. I was actually going to the ladder to see. Look at this. Um, is this the ladder? Uh, uh, load last ranks. Whoa, 80,000 teams. 80,000. Robert, that's not me. <laughs> Isn't it? Or, or maybe this person's watching these live streams like, oh, I, I, I admire that YouTube streamer. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, oh, I, I want to, I'm going to use his name. <laughs> Woodward, no, was it Robert? Robert, that's what my God, like my grandmother used to call me. <laughs> and grandmothers and mothers, they call you by your full name. Ah, anyway, 80,000 teams. I just, what I really hope, if, even if 50% or even 10% of the, or 20% of the teams, that'd be like 16,000 players, active players, that would be great. But unfortunately, a lot of these players, they just like jump in. Like these are like three minutes ago, three minutes ago, one minute ago, okay, three minutes ago. So a lot of new teams, I just really hope they stay active. That's one of the, that's just something, yeah. They stay active. And so, so I do hope they 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 stick with the team, uh, with with their teams and go through. And yeah, Club Soda is definitely Jack. That's a Jack team or someone like that. But it doesn't have Jack there. It's like someone else's name. But yeah, it look, looks like Jack. Um so guess how low I was in the ladder when I started. Ooh, when you restarted, maybe about 30,000. 20,000, 10,000 or something like that. Probably went down quite a... I don't know. How, how how low were you? Let me know. I'm interested. And like, I was once 80,000th in the in the global ladder. And then I got to number 70,000. <laughs> but unfortunately, I've seen a lot of these, like, yeah, a lot of these people that don't stay active, we've seen it, but I just hope. They are. 63,000. Did you get a screenshot or something like that? Look at this. I was, this is like a motivational thing for the new teams. I was 60,000 in the 63,000. 63,000. Oh, God. I've got saliva all over the microphone now. I was 63,000. Say, oh, God. I was 63,000. Oh, God. That's so hard to say. And it's not just Sunday morning. Hang on. 63,000. It's like a little bit of tongue twister. Anyway, 63,000. South, South. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's like screws up your brain. Anyway, um, that's impressive. So, uh, yeah. That's impressive. So, where are you now? You must be climbing up there. So, uh, get out of there. I don't want to see that. Yeah, so the with the with the ladder, uh, go back. I'll just collect that. 
and go back to Woodward Games. So the, re uh, the reason I actually had to do this live stream like pretty much now is because I've got this player where, um, yes, like level 90. <laughs> yes, and there isn't a button to challenge the highest team you can. You have to click the button 10 teams at a time. Oh, so you're like, oh, shit, you've got to, you've got to work your way up. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, so, you, so like when you're at that level, so how can you do that? I had a match. I had a match, did I? Or is that, when was this match? This is probably like, I oh, know that was last night. That's right. Okay. I've already got those rewards. And that one here, you got those ones. Yeah, youth teams, never worry about your results. Um, where was it? So if we go to the ladder, yeah, you do have to click the one that's above you, like 10 at a time. Or or hang on, if you just go, I can't do it with this one. Maybe if I do it here, Woodward Saints. So if you go to Woodward Saints, uh, where is it, the ladder, you just go, load higher ranks and just click that like about two or three times and then you can just but i'd, I'd probably stay like slowly do it because people will think oh he's only like level 30 30 in the lead in the ladder so he mustn't be very good <laughs> and then <clears throat> just go and whoop their ass <laughs> and what i do is i try and just do next one next one next one you could just get so you've got infinite amount of ladder challenges Woodward Saints, I'd like them to be a lot lower. It just doesn't happen, though. You just sometimes win matches, and it's... But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah. So, no, no, unfortunately, no screenshot. And, oh, there's something back up here. And you mentioned, I did miss the launch. Do you think a lot of new people were sticking with it? Um, there are shitloads of new teams. There are a lot of new teams, and I seriously hope a lot of them stay around. I've seen, for example, in our union, like they they started at level one or two, and they're like now level seven and eight, and they're still active, and that's good to see. And I've seen them stay around a lot longer, and that's that's been that's been good. Lost my internet connection. No, 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 it he appears every now and then. Um, I'm connected to cable, so it should be fine. Um, so yeah, so I really, really hope that these people do stick around because it's just going to be so good for the game. Um, what's that? So, well, they're right. My team isn't very good at the moment, <laughs> but still you, you got some, you got some good players in there. And the thing is, you know how to do it. You know how to get them up to scratch very quickly up to a good level. So it's not going to take long. It might take about five seasons or so six seasons because if you've got like a level 18 player in like about let's go check out my squad here i've got some really good players coming through so we just go to lineup go to age and we've got like okay he's like level 20 oh look at this dude look at this dude this is this is my level 10 star player i don't often spend I had got shitloads of money, uh, not money, shitloads of stars. Because they, they remember that time, I just did like months where I like, oh, I didn't even bother getting youth players or anything like that. So I was just collecting, uh, where is it, in the academy. I probably still got shitloads. Yeah, I've still got like 5,000 academy stars. Because I was like, I have the maximum. And I've, yeah, I still spend them quite a lot. So I still got 5,000 stars. And I spent like, was it 3,000 just recently on a level 10? Something I don't normally do. So I thought, I'm going to spend 3 million uh, pesos, <laughs> 3 million <do> pesos, <laughs> 3 million dollars or star, whatever it is, <clears throat> 3,000 stars, which is like, is it 3,500 maybe? Oh, here it is. Let's go back down here. I should actually try and scout another one. Go back down here. So, I oh know it's three and a half thousand. Okay, three three thousand five hundred stars to get in, like in level ten player. I mean, it's not much difference. It's not really worth it. But I thought I've got shitloads of stars. I'm going to wait until I get a player that's one hundred fifty two stars, not one forty seven, and had to be a star player, not normal player. So I just 
click, wait, wait. So I waited like about two or three weeks. It happened quite quickly. And then I got this player, which is uh, in the squad. So I got this player. Uh, where the hell is he? Let's go by age. And he's, uh, he's only seven days old. Look at that, 205 centimeters. And I didn't put him as a lock. I put him as a back because I've already got some really tall locks in there. If you go to my normal locks, uh, height, I've got 207s, 207s. I've got the 205s. I'm like, I've got shit loads of really tall players. He's like 202. He's now like my star player. I thought, oh, I've got a 202 star player. Ooh, this is good. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's still good, but it's like, but he's old now, so he's going to, yeah, he's going to be going soon. And I'm replacing him with these up here. Look at these. And they're not even star players, but they're doing quite well. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have this dude as a back. Why? Because my logic is for the up and unders. Up and unders, they're also tall. And if they're thin enough, if they're tall, they can actually, they've got quicker acceleration and like speed also. I remember reading somewhere, the taller they are, the sometimes they're quicker because they've got longer legs, they can move more. But I think their agility is maybe less or something like that. But if they're faster, that's what I'm interested in. And also... With the up and unders, if you're if if you've got another player that's 195 for a back, which is tall, or even 190, a lot of them are like 185, 188, maybe 190. If you have a back that's 190, you've got a 15 centimeter difference. And in the game, I think that could make a difference. So what I started doing is I'm trying to get my back lines. This is the secret tip to just, you know, for everyone that's watching, the multitudes that are watching later, this is why you come to the channel so you can learn this, this, ah, oh, these great tips, <laughs> which may or may not be right. So I thought that's going to make a difference for the up and unders. And also, if you chuck in line, line was it line now jumping on this dude, it's going to make a big difference. So, yeah. Um, you think my green screen is leaking into the game? <laughs> Probably. I have, let me see if I can. Uh. Oh, it is two. It is two. I see what you do. Ah, it is. <laughs> I wonder if I show. Okay, hang on. I'm going to go check out a game. I've only just noticed that. I only just noticed that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, there is probably something I can do about that. Uh, oh, hang on, oh, let me see. I just want to go settings, um, virtual backgrounds. Let me see if the fade. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, okay, I'm gone. I'm gonna. Where was I? It's probably about 40 or so. Yeah, okay, I just saw that. Thanks for letting me know. That's actually quite. Ah, interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I can have like a no, no background maybe. There it is. Great. There it is. So if I put no background, brilliant. Okay. That's good to know. Thanks for letting me know. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so you got this dude here. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so I thought... Look at this. He's he's already in, he's inexperienced. He's only like seven days old. I haven't been doing so many. Look, he's had forty four games. He's going to change level. Like I think after five thousand minutes, he's going to be in, limited or whatever. <laughs> it was the Hobbit picture was leaking into the green bits of the game. That could actually be a fun thing. What have I got behind me? And you get to try and piece it together. Like what is that picture? It's a picture of a dinosaur or something like that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so everything in the, that is green in the game gets changed. Okay, so I figured out I've got to remember that next time. Yeah, just have no nothing for the green screen. Because when I'm doing the, like on the Woodward English channel, I have a green screen behind me because I don't show like a game or anything. I forgot to change it for this one anyway. So yeah, 
<laughs> that, yeah, I wonder how I could use that to my advantage. Anyway, this this dude is actually, um, yeah, he's only like, he's young, but he's like tall. He's a level 40. So he's going, look at this. His line breaking is going to be like next level. His tackling is going to be next level. His awareness is like, he's going to be a really good, really good player. And I'm like pumping in the games. I'm, he's in my youth team. And I just, with my youth team, I try and get like about five or six games a day if I can. It's, oh, I just jump in, do a, a ladder challenge, and then I jump out. That's why I jump in and out all of the time. Um, but I do have some other younger players. If I got it as age yet, let's go to age. So if we go to age, so um, I got this dude. He's 20. And look at that. He's 20 years old. He's already veteran at 20. <laughs> Again, he's in been in shit loads of games. 289 matches, and he's 20 years old. Just turned 20. I hit, these stats are increasing quite a lot for a 20-year-old. The only problem is you can have like a really good player. Like this guy, he's 21 years old. He's a center. He's 61 years old. And he's already maxed out in all of these. So he's going to be, but you still got to wait for these to come up. And this is the only problem. You can quickly get these up to the max and then they will keep increasing. He's seasoned. He is seasoned already because he has had, 400 games it's like pumping those games and the problem is he's still a little bit slow with acceleration so that's the only thing so you can get like a semi-decent team like four seasons that is pretty much maxed in everything very good experience uh, these might be a bit lower but yeah whatever so yeah <clears throat> so you're saying that yeah Make sure his BMI is below 29. Ah, that was the thing. Oh, what is the... Ah, yeah. When the BMI came in, at the beginning, I paid attention to it. And then I'm like, ah. Because I remember, I am I was like, you got to keep the... I was trying to keep the weights down of, the, of my forwards. And I thought, you know, to try and keep it in the BMI. And then I thought, ah, who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm just going to make my forwards chunky dudes. 139, 140. Oh, someone in the Discord said they had a, a player that's 150 kilos. I'm like, oh, I want him. Where sell him? I want him. <laughs> Give him to me. I want him. He's yeah. It, there was there, it's a bug. You can only go to 140 kilos now. But I'm like, oh, I miss my 155 kilo player. My 155 kilo hooker. <laughs> oh. So yeah you so you think you're onto something with the tall backs yeah so i'm like mm, there is something look at this guy he's my lock he's 25 now he's going to turn 26 soon he's hardened also i'm starting to think that experience plays a significant role in match games because i've been my teams have been doing very well for some i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like, Rob, why are you number one in the world? Fuck knows. I have no idea. <laughs> it just sort of happens. Rob, you must know so many things. Uh, I, as I always say, I just make things up so hard. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here it is. He's 25, and look at that. He's doing well. He's doing well. But yeah, so I'm just making sure I'm just going for the for the tall, the tall backs makes a difference. <clears throat> so I think I can only promote six players per season. So I will only have a full roster after four, four seasons, then four or six more to become, be, become bleep, competitive again. Yeah. So you can pull out the players like every like seven days or so, like maybe four. Yeah, as you say, like for a season, if there's something decent that comes out. But yeah, start paying attention to the, to the height thing for all of the players. It's something like, even if it like, I, I just usually pull out the, in the academy, scout a new player. I should actually scout someone. But I usually just pull out level eight players in general, except if they're a star player. 
now in the past i'd just do level eight star players too i don't care <clears throat> but if i do a star player i might choose a level nine one. Oops, excuse me one second that's better um yes yeah, so when i do the star players i just sometimes do a level nine and as of chance, I had shitloads of stars. I just did a level 10 one, but that's an exception. But yeah, I just always pull level eight players. Actually, I'll do one now. I've already got all the star players I want, so just run that. Yeah, whatever. Who? What have I got? So example here, this with well, this team, I've got shitloads of tokens too, so I'm like, eh, I might just do a scout at once. 136, not interested. Scout again. 138, eh, I'll just leave it like that. I won't do another four tokens. I'm, I'm stingy like that. Well, sometimes I do. Uh, ooh, look at this. He's a lock. But he, for me, 200 for a lock now is not worth my time. He's got good weight. I could use him as a flanker or as a number eight. But I need to check my rest of my team to see if... if Because I, I like to, except for my front three, my props and my hooker, they're always under one, they're like 185-ish, maybe. But my flankers and my number eight are always around, I'm trying to get like 200, because I think it's important too. Just, yeah, just tall players. I like I like my tall players now. And, yeah, so I'll think about it. But, so, yeah, so, yeah, definitely go for the... Definitely go for that. So you will be competitive before long because you know how to train the players too and everything like that. So it's going to be no problem. Now, I want to go show. <clears throat> oh, increase a player's natural weight by two. Oh, I'm going to use that. Um, I, I, I'm feeding my forwards uh, lineup, weight. And again, I'm going for the 140s too now. I don't care about whether their BMI is shit. Because I still discovered it's actually worth it with my scrum to be have the fatties in there because you, you just dominate. They might be slow in the field, but how often do they need to be fast on the field? They do not need to be fast. Like your props and everyone, they do not need to be fast. Um, he's a lock. I should actually – oh, he's a lock. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to put him up a bit more. Play my weight card that I got today. <clears throat> There we go. Um, yeah, so he's just increased a little bit. Whatever. I mean, I do have some other weight cards. I just can't be bothered. Um, so now I want to go to, I want to show you my level 90 player. This dude is bloody awesome. So let's go have a look. Um, what would games? So we go here. And uh, yeah, it's number 15. The reason I have to show him now, because he's going to change in three days. He's not going to be level 90 anymore. He's going to drop. <laughs> you think, uh, yeah, a short prop at 140 should have a really big endurance penalty? They probably do. They probably do have an endurance penalty, but I just don't notice that difference. Maybe it could be a higher penalty, maybe. I don't know. So at the moment, it's like, because I went from 140s, then I dropped down to like 130s for the BMI and everything like that. I'm like, but just wasn't performing as well, the scrums. And you just don't need better players. Or I don't know. Yeah, I just pumped them up to 140 again. And also, I started my, just something else I've been doing. We'll come back to this level 90 player in a moment. <laughs> is with my training. Uh, oh, here it is. I can do it here. Um, with the physical, before, I would have one for, for centers where I'm, you know, get rid of the strength and have a bit more power and with my flankers, get rid of the coordination and acceleration and have other things. And also, and that would push their, some of their skills or attributes or whatever they're bloody called, whatever these things are. I always forget them, you know. One day I should learn it. I've been doing it for years and I still don't know if this is a skill or an attribute. But anyway, if I go here, it doesn't say skills or attributes. <laughs> okay. So now all I do, <clears throat> I just have it an all rounder for all of them. I don't care. I just have them all training and everything because some of my players, if you look at some of my older players, 
um, like this one here. No. Like he's really good in skill and acceleration, but his other ones are quite low. So I thought, eh, now I'm just trying to get them all up a bit more. Yeah. Blue is attributes. Oh, God. Yeah. So these are attributes and these are skills. Yeah. Because you've got to have, you got to be, okay, I'm going to remember this, doing it like a mnemonic thing. Kicking is a skill, not an attribute. S tackling is a skill, not an attribute. Yeah, these are all different skills and these are attributes. Okay, I'm going to remember now. Do you think any points over 99 are a waster? Yes. <clears throat> a one. A wasted, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Because like this dude, he's 99. Um, if we go to, I haven't done training today. Okay, let's just do a training. Um, and then we can see what he's, oh, hang on. Training reports, got no report. Oh, here, this is from yesterday. So what's he, Tapua? Oops, um, go check him out. Where is he? Oh, here he is, yeah. He's still, he's still increasing too. Um, look at that. So his speed, <clears throat> got a frog in my throat. I had it for breakfast. Um, it's trying to crawl, crawl its way back out. So we've got, um, so he's got like, his, his speed is still increasing. Wow. And just like little by little, but still, it's still increasing. And his acceleration, I don't know how much. Because it would, in theory, need to be 9,999. But does this make a difference? Might do. I think I remember asking this question, and there was something like, well, this is something that the match engine knows. It's something you need to think. or does they, they, Of course, which I totally understand, we can't, we can't say it's a part of the match engine, which means probably yes. <laughs> probably does. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. So his skill speed <clears throat> is probably, so with 100 points is one skill point. His speed is probably 104, maybe. It could be. Yeah, so maybe he has 104 in speed. Because he is pretty quick, but... So he does get caught sometimes, but that might be because of his acceleration. I don't know. Yeah, so, I mean, if I get to 99, I'm happy because it's not often you get other players up to 99. One second. That's better. So, so like... If he's at 99, I'm like happy. Or anywhere close to 99, I'm happy. But trying to push it forward. But now that I'm doing the the well-rounded, uh, what do you call it, uh, technical or physical training, my newer players, they're not, they're not going to get up to 99 now, I don't think. So, yeah, this is something that you probably won't see very often. So, so uh, I mean, you suspect the match engine might cap attributes at 99? Uh, totally could be, totally could be, uh, yeah, so I'm like, for me, if it gets to 99, I don't care, so it makes sense to go more all-rounded, totally, so now, because his endurance is only 45, his strength is only 20, and I was thinking, uh, maybe I should just make it more rounded, because he might have the 20 strength, but if someone else has more strength, he could probably rip the ball like strength plus rucking can make more turnovers maybe or whatever. Yeah, could be. Or was it power? I think no, strength. Strength with rucking could help with the turnovers. So if his strength is only 20, he could, he could be very fast. But if he gets tackled, he could lose the ball a lot easier. So, yeah, so now I just – and also you don't need to think. But I do have the hooker one here. I, I sell hookers. I sell hookers. <laughs> I buy hookers, eighteen-year-old hookers on the tray on the on the in the market. <laughs> I I buy eighteen-year-old hookers on the market, <laughs> and then I pump them up. 
I put them on steroids <laughs> so that they perform better and then I sell them. <laughs> and then I sell them on the I sell them on the market for, like when they're like 20 or 19 or 20 or so. And yeah, people I buy them for like 9 20,000 and then I'll sell them for like 200,000. Just every now and then I do that. I don't have any at the moment, I don't think. Nah. I just go buy hookers and then I just I f I put their their kilograms up to the maximum and people are like, oh, he's 120 kilos. Ooh, he just put it up. People buy them. So it's like, yeah. And I'm also, <laughs> I'm evil. I, I don't put them in any games. So they're going to be 20 years old and they've got zero experience. Just in case they, <laughs> they use them against me later. <laughs> um so yeah let's get the conversation back to brm <laughs> i am i give these hookers like a lot of kilos <laughs> i yeah that's what i do actually I, I could go looking for them because you can just find them cheap so i just go here i bring the price down to like i don't know twenty one thousand or so and i make sure that they're not tall whatever around here i don't care weight i don't care about the weight maybe like 100 18 year olds and then i'll go uh, apply the filter and look at that you got some cheap hookers in here and they're at like level 14 so I just go through here and i try and get them down like day zero or one 12 and i go see oh this is a good one so i might like bid on this dude have lock yeah so i'll just bid on him there we go. So he's going to be mine. Um, go do another one. So this is what I do. And then what I do is I put them in. The, oh, here's another one. Bid. I don't even look at the stats. Yeah, whatever. Bid. Okay. Is there anyone else? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Bid. Balboa. Isn't he like the guy from Rocky? <laughs> yep, you're another one. And then if I win, I win. If not, I don't care. And then what I do is I go to the, the squad, I'll go to the training, and then I pump them up in the skills. Oh, no, it's not this one. In the skills that they need, the hookers. You can do this with locks, with flankers. You just choose a, a, a type like a center. You just pump up their power and the speed, the main attributes, and then you can just sell them later. So it's like a, it's a great way. So I put them late. If I win this, I'll put them in here. I don't give my hookers speed or acceleration. I give them extra strength and in, I think it's coordination. And then their the level increases more. And yeah, then in a couple of months, I usually only have about three of these. I haven't done it for a while, but yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, so going back to this level, uh, what do you call it? The level 90 player. Where is it? Back here. Yeah, so if you want some cash, I mean, I don't need cash <laughs> at this last stage, but if you're starting out, you can do that. You can totally do that. And I just sell them for later. Just don't put them in your youth team. Just don't train them. Just so <laughs> it's not a, it's an evil thing to do, but whatever. Someone will buy them. And that way you get some extra cash because, yeah, even though you got four million in the season, uh, except for if you're in debt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can just use it to buy cards and you can use these cards you know those cards to like I've got all of my buildings up to level 20 you can just buy cards for the uh, form, composure leadership, the ones that you don't, don't have or whatever so that's what you can use it for and that's why I've got some of my players like really like my number two Look at that. He's in composure. He's 24. He's got level 99 leadership, level 99 composure. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's... So you haven't seen my level uh, 90 player? Yeah. I, I was waiting little by little. And I thought, <gasps> is he going to be... Is he going to be... I've got like level 80, 70, 86. He's a star player, but he's not going to get level 90 because he's already over the age of 33. Because once they get to level like 33 years of age, their stats drop, of course. So they drop quite a bit. Four, his speed dropped four, his endurance dropped three, etc. 
So I knew I had to get him to level 90 before he turned 33, because when he's 33, they drop. So I've got a lot. It's the first time I've had so like my players are sometimes around 83s, 80s. Like he's not a star player and he's 83. And that for me is like brilliant. I've got an 87 player here, but he's he he was close, but he didn't get to level 90. And he's dropping every, all the time too. So this, oh, I've got it by age. Okay, let me change the lineup. I oh, know it is normal. So my level 90, but this is what <clears throat> an hour later. <laughs> someone put in the description, avoid all the other shit. Go to go to one hour into the stream, and that's when he starts talking about his level 90 player. <laughs> okay. Well, they do that on TV and all that. I, I was honestly going to show this earlier on, but I just get distracted by things. <laughs> it's like, oh, squirrel. Is it, is it squirrel? An acorn or something. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is what, in three days, he's going to drop from level 90. So why is he level 90? He has 99 speed. 99 acceleration, 77 agility, 88 in coordination. His strength is not okay. <laughs> that was it. Um, strength is 21, sucks. Power for me, his power isn't very good, but anyway, he's level 38, endurance 46. He's not the yeah, he lasts enough, but for me, that's not a very good. I like my endurance now to be up around the 60s. Composure. So your highest was around 84. In general, they're around about 83, 84-ish, except for star players. You can get like 87, 86, 7, 8 maybe. So this is a rarity. So my question is, is this the first level 90 player in the game? This could be the first level. I've never seen any player with a level 90. I remember seeing a player having level 80. I think you probably had level 80 players before me. And I remember that. But this is the first time I've seen a level 90. If in the future anyone has a level 90 player, let us know in the description, the chat, or in Discord, or anywhere. I'm just curious to know how common this is. And he's almost on the way to level 91, but he's not going to get it in three days. It's going to be impossible. Um, so you say, so composure counts for the level? I don't. Let's do an experiment. We'll do an experiment right now to check this theory. Okay. Uh, or, and he's got 53 leadership. We'll do an experiment in a moment with the composure to see if it influences... Um, what do you call it? The XP. His scrum. He's got a 66 scrum. Because what I did some at the beginning, and even now, I just put them all of my players together in their physical, whatever it is. So maybe his level is higher because of some of these things here. Scrum 66, maul 62, line out jumping 66, line out throwing 59. <laughs> 69. 67, his tackling is 72. That's good. 71 passing. Yeah, passing, I don't care about much. Kicking 77. That's good. Catching 76. This is great for the up and unders. Line out jumping is also useful for up and under up and unders too. Because you like jumping. It's just they, they need to change it to just jumping. So you got um kicking, catching, line out breaking, and awareness so yeah he's he's brilliant and he's also a legendary player so if we had um the union rep teams right now he would be a player he would be a chosen player so how much will he drop well he's gonna drop like four three or four points and like he's gonna drop to maybe 98 or 7, maybe 97 in speed, maybe 96 in acceleration, maybe 75. So I think he might drop to like level 88. It's going to be interesting. That's a good question. He'll probably drop to level 88, maybe. We, we will see. I'll be curious to know how much he drops. 
So I will take a screenshot, uh, if I remember, <laughs> of day 27, a screenshot, and then I'll take a screenshot the next day. And then I can compare it, and then I might do a video about it or something like that. But that's a great thing. I hope I, I hope I remember to do that. I probably will. So that might be it, actually. Having maxed out the skills he doesn't need. Yeah, like he doesn't need scrum, so it might be an influence and in, might be. Yeah. Because he doesn't need scrum at all, but yeah, never know. Okay, so I'm going to do this experiment right now. I'm going to go look for a player with composure. Let's go check it out. So I'm going to choose, for example, um, this dude here, Troeth. He's a young dude. He's 22. He's already seasoned. He has 78 in composure. Now, in the chat, I'm going to put his XP is 821. Okay. And this is, I'll put his name there, Troeth. I'm going to put that in the chat there. Okay, so he's his XP is 821, and this is Troth, Troth, whatever his name is. And I'm going to increase his composure by playing a sight card. And let's just give it a good increase. Got no daily ones. Composure, uh, I'll increase it even, should we increase it one? So we'll try with one first and see what happens. Increase composure by one. And what happens? He's at 79 now. Look at that. So with a one point increase from 78 to 79, he is now 1,404. I'll just put growth. Okay, so that one point difference in composure makes a difference. So this guy increased. So if I try it with another one that's a lower level, I'm going to just waste a card if I choose someone like, uh, let's go composure. Okay, let's go give it to Lato. Okay, he has only got 23. He's my 10-star player. So he has level 23 in composure. So at the moment, he is 2, 5, 9, 4, um, Lato. And we are also going to give him a one composure card uh let's play a sight card got nothing there uh increase composure by one level that's the one oh, let's drag it there so we're going to increase it by one level he's from 23 to 24 and now he is two seven Five O. That is Lato. So is there a difference? So he increased a lot more. He increased like almost 600, but here he only increased like less than 200. Okay. So that's like he increased like 150. So he, this guy, so Lato only increased 150. But if we go to Troth, wherever the hell he is, I'll just go up here. So if we go to, where the hell is he? There he is. But he increased a lot more. He increased like 600 experience. I think it's because of the more composure you have. So if I increase this one more, okay, I'm going to increase, increase this one more. And since he's now 79 instead of 80, let's go have a look. So we'll play the sight card. We'll do one more. So we go to composure and see if it increases even more. So go here, play the side card, and I've oh, already played it. Okay. So now he is 1987. Uh, and that's Troth. Okay, so I'm going to analyze this and see. So maybe if we work out the difference between this one here and this one here. So the higher your composure, maybe the more experience you get. That could be a cool thing. Yeah, okay. Might have to do a whole, I might do a stream about this next time. We'll do the calculations and everything like that.
or do a post or something. But yeah, so the higher the composure, if you give them more composure, the XP increases. So if we go to my level, if we go to him, so his composure is 98. Now, if I give him one more composure, it's going to be next level. You don't get it yet? So basically, if you have, if your player has low composure, for example, with this guy here, so this one here, he increased, okay, I'm going to get my calculator out. Let's, let, I'll, I'll do this. <clears throat> so Troth increased from eight, okay, so Troth went from 821, Four, oh four. So he increased. So Troth increased for the first time five hundred and eighty three XP. That was the first time. And that's the first time. Okay. And then the second time. He increased, uh, oh, I didn't write it, did I? Oh, no, there it is. So he increased from 1404, and then 1404 minus 1987. I oh, know he also increased 500, he also increased 583. But for some reason... So he didn't increase much. So it's like he increased the same amount. But maybe, for example, um, Latu, he increased from two, five, five. What am I looking at? Yes, yeah, so Troth increased. And Latu is two, five. Uh, was it two, seven, five, oh? No, no, whatever. Two, Minus 2750, whatever it is. It's 156. Ah. So Latu increased 156. Okay. So the, the guy that had more composure, so, so this guy here, I increased by one, he got more XP. And if I, and Latu, wherever that dude is, down here somewhere, this guy, he only increased 156 at this level. So maybe when your composure is low, you increase the composure, the XP increases just a little. But if you are over the, the maximum amount, for example, his maximum is maybe like 54, 55. So for example, this dude here, He's already over the maximum of 55 or whatever. So maybe the higher you get, the more XP you get for your player because of this composure. So that's that's the idea. Yeah. Okay, what, I, what I'll do is I'll think about this and then I'll, I'll actually create some type of video or something like that. I probably won't do it live. I'll, I'll, I'll create something about this just so we can so I can analyze the the composure and how it increases the level so maybe the reason he's level 90 is because he has such high composure i think that could be the the thing that could be one of the main one of the main things yeah so this is the and why is he level 90 if you look at his stats he has played 1299 times he's had 100,000 minutes He's had 1,000 competitive matches. He's got loads of points, 844 tries, one try held up. So I'm just going to go through this so you can see later if I want to compare him with someone else in the future, the greatest of all times. So we just look at these tackles, missed tackles, carries, eight bad passes in all of these seasons, eight bad passes. 34 knock drop kicks, offloads. He's kicked a lot. He's actually done conversions and things. Drop goals. Wow. No scrums, no lineouts. <laughs> He's actually been in malls. Look at this. This is interesting. 
I think this happened. He was in malls because I did it. We did a tactic where I had my forwards in the back position and the backs in the forwards. I changed the order because I wanted to lose. <laughs> And yeah, there's something okay. We got to do a competition where we lose. Got to try and lose. Whoever loses wins. Yeah. So this is his done. Loads of turnovers. Loads of injuries. Two hundred forty-seven ladder matches. No league matches. Eight finals. Nine semi-finals. Friendly matches. Not many. And that's probably just to complete a, what is it, like a union challenge thing. And 986 ladder matches. Wow. And 66 cup matches. So this is basically his story. This is a level 90 player. I mean, just yesterday or whenever it was, he increased his line breaking. So you can see his attributes and all of that. Now, if I go back to the training, we go to the reports from yesterday. And here, look at this. Okay, that was his, and his physical is still increasing. And these are his levels. I have a CTR playing at flanker right now because I'm short in some positions. <laughs> yeah, do it totally. If they're quick enough and they're strong enough, it's like, yeah, totally do that. And the other player thinks, oh, he's only, <laughs> he doesn't know how to play. Little does he know. So, yeah, so this is my level. 90 player and i thought i'd share that with everyone because he's gonna disappear he's gonna drop to i think level 88 tomorrow or three days from now so yeah well i did it like on sunday bloody early morning for me it's just to get the evening for the rest of the world i might try another time to do it like maybe a saturday morning a friday night for you guys yeah i'm still experimenting with the times you will see more videos maybe sometimes live but more videos from me yesterday i recorded six seven videos i just need to edit them and cut them i mean they're just like very short videos like th two three minutes maximum about different things basically for people learning the game okay so probably no use for you slother up you already know everything here but just some other ones just so that you know, some of the new people coming in, like, how can I change my kicker and things like that, doing these videos to help them, because, yeah. And there is one other thing that I'm going to, I'm going to do an, a live thing probably on next week about blackout football. I learned something. I learned something, and I'm going to share it. I know what some of these skills are. I know what some of these things are. I learned so I discussed like yes. And I'm gonna talk about that ne probably next one of the next times I'm live. So yes. I'll share that this week. This week I'm gonna share it because I just I'm, I just want to share it, but it's like <gasps> yes. So until next time, thanks for joining me today, Slothrop. Really appreciate it. It's always good when there's someone else in the chat so we can talk about things and everything like that. Makes always makes it more interesting. I really appreciate it. So again, if anyone has a level 90 player, let me know in the chat later on the just in the what do you call it? The comments down there. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome day.